It's dilapidated. It's putting lives in danger. When we look at the fact that the busway is right across the way, it's a lifeblood to our community. And the only access you have to Rankin is to cross this bridge. That bridge, is, as you can see, has been boarded up. There's hole in the deck work. Uh, people literally, the fence has them walking on the street. It's dangerous. And our advocacy is very simple. Um, if this were happening in the homes, in the community of Governor Corbett or, or Terzai or any of our representatives, it wouldn't be here. And I also argue that if, if Target came in tomorrow and said, we're going to build a factory down on the road, they'd have it done tomorrow. Well, who are we worshiping? Are we worshiping money or do we care about people? So at the bottom line, we care about people. People are greatly impacted by this. We need to change it. I've pastored here in Braddock, not in Braddock nine years. I know seven of the years this has been like this. Okay? And before that, it was in bad shape. Okay? Which led us to ultimately the, doing what they've done. So we're talking a long, long time. If you look at the rust and the decay on that bridge deck, it didn't happen yesterday. We're talking probably decades of neglect. Senate Bill 1 is our opportunity to begin to retard some of that decay that's happening in our community. What exactly does Senate Bill 1 mean? Well, it, 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 it really designates funding for mass transit, it designates funding for infrastructure and bridges, and the reality is the governor has been um, obstructive, I think that's a nice way to put it, in getting that process done. Uh, his own commission has, uh, has made uh, overtures and recommendations that are incorporated in Senate Bill 1. When the governor came in, he said, we need to do something on transit. He got this commission. They said, these are the things we need to do. And the Republican legislature is not moving. So it has to happen. It's got to happen. Um, the governor believes it needs to happen, but won't put his voice on the table and say, well, let's make it happen. And we know like projects like this, like this would probably be looped in with that bill? Yes, it will. Okay. Yes, it will. It, the, uh, the argument is very clear to us. People are ahead of, of money. People's lives are endangered every hour. I think as you, we stood here today, we've seen mothers and fathers walking with their babies. We've seen those who are in wheelchairs who do not have access. The truth of the matter is, this is an issue that needs to happen for the lifeblood of the people in our community. During the summer when Kennywood's open, literally you have a ribbon of cars from here all the way back to the parkway. Uh, the weight limit on this bridge is uh, six tons. All you have to do is park four cars and you will when Kennywood's open. Four cars will get stopped here because of the traffic flow. We're already exceeding the weight limit right now with eight car, four to five cars sitting on the bridge during the okay. summer season. Why are we waiting for a disaster to happen? It has happened in Minnesota. We do not want a duplicate of that happening here in Pennsylvania.